test one, two. Okay, I think we're back online. So hello and welcome, this is STRA. Today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription, Casey's Mod. Let's go ahead and get us a new run started. I'm going to go with a insect deck again. And let's see, I think that I need to hit 80 points, or I mean I know that. So let's see what would be the best way to do that. Um, single candle is so hard. I'm afraid to uh, go that route, honestly, because just bad things happen from time to time. Um, let's see how much we get with these things on. I'll put this at 70. And we could do tip scales, which would allow us to remove 10 points worth of stuff. I want to say backpack and maybe um, pricey pelts would be the way to go so that we at least have a chance at getting something good. Um, almost rather trade something off, but let me see. I want to do a quick Google search and see if there's anybody saying suggestions for the easiest path for 80 points. One second. Okay, I don't see a good straightforward way to do it. So um, let me go ahead and just start with what we have here and we'll see how it goes. Hook is a one time use thing, so I think it's okay counting it and I just never really have a huge need for clover, so I'm okay with those two settings. It's the others that make it hard. Okay. So, let's see. Maybe I should get an ant queen and a mantis and put the mantis's powers on the ant queen so that more grants it makes are bifurcated and it's bifurcated itself. That would be pretty sweet. I think we'll seek out the woodcarver often and early. Oh, insect head. I think that kind of is higher priority than getting that auto deploy. Although that auto deploy is pretty sweet. Okay. Here comes a bee and it's going to move over. So let's set up our. Mantis to be in the right position for after it moves over. Okay, there we go. And let's do this a flying ant over here. Sound of stunk to you know, block some damage in a turn. Looking good, looking good. Alright, we'll just uh, keep on going though so that we can get that excess damage. I don't think it's going to be much, but we'll take whatever we can get here. Oh, actually, we can do a fair amount if we do this. That'll be three. Alright, sweet. Okay, another opportunity to go to the wood cover. Okay. Bone generating. It's a coyote in the back, so it's okay. All right. We can get a skunk down to uh, slow down our bullfrog. He won't be able to attack us. All right. We'll need to get rid of that. 
that alpha, that's going to be a problem. So I think that we will use our emergency scroll here to get it an A queen on the board. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and get a uh, portrait ant on the board too, so that the queen is able to do some uh, significant damage right away. Take out the alpha. Okay, we'll have another bullfrog come in here in a moment. Alright, now we'll have another ant queen on the board. Sweet. Good. That was pretty good of that. I think the dream team's coming together. I don't have enough teeth really to go up that way, so I'm thinking about going to the wood carver for another turn just in case we get some sort of better sigil. Generating bone just isn't, I think, the best thing for what we're going for. Hey, golden felt. Okay, we can have airborne or guardian. Let's go with Airborne. Why not? Having that ability might um, actually win us out when it comes to the um, angler fight that is always tricky with the bait buckets. Alright, I don't really feel like enhancing anybody's power yet. So I think I'll head up to the woodcarver once again, just looking for a better set of sigils because it's such a key aspect of being able to win is getting a good pair. All right, kingfishers and a beehive coming in. Neither of those are ideal um, to get us a skunk down to slow down one of them, however. At least they're kind of weak too, so. We'll have some time for us here. Okay. Let's put our flying ant down. Okay, now we could get us our um, ant queen out and start attacking the beehive. There we go. It's gonna be airborne, so it's not gonna go away anyways. Already I forgot that quickly about our uh, sigil. Okay. Nice, that's pretty good haul and teeth. So now we're pretty close to being able to go to the trapper and uh, get us a golden felt. Okay, bone or not, let's go for, ooh, a dire wolf, cool. Alright, let's see, corpse eater, that would be pretty nice, um, yeah, or we can have sharp quills, which would be nice too, that could help take out some of the nastier things. Um, fascinating. It's a hard decision. Um, I like the idea of these auto deploying, but they're already so cheap. But however, that would let us save up for the big guys. So maybe let's do Corpse Eater. So when the time is right, that could pay off. I've already collected so many visits at the wood carver. Maybe we'll see something even better. Uh, let's go with the canine head. We'll stick with what we have for insect head, though. Okay. We continue on. Alright, infamous angler. Let's see. 
this guy out. Okay, Kingfisher isn't going to um, hurt anybody to make a uh, new card appear on the board. So I could save up for one turn and get the Dire Wolf on the board. However, it's kind of a problematic card in some ways. Um, I guess let's just go ahead and save up for a turn now. Okay. Um, I might not have to deploy something, but he uh, isn't going to be able to... I mean, he'll not be able to claw anything back. I want to save up so he can get the Dire Wolf. So I think we're just going to pass for another turn. It's pretty rare for me to do something like this in the angler, but it makes sense in this case. Alright, I should have probably drawn another squirrel, but now I'm going to have to play something. Um, I could play an 8-queen and have to pull over, I guess, bone, perhaps. Um, and that would be okay. Maybe I should play the mantis, actually. There we go. And let's have him pull over the bone card. Or smoke thing. There we go. He gets rid of our kingfisher issue for the moment. Oh, that's not enough to win. I think I just lost. Wow. <laughs> that was a funny miscalculation. I should have put something else that could have attacked on the board. Wow. That's so sad. Losing to the very first boss. Man. Kind of bummed out. I thought I was getting a good deck there too. Ah, that's how it goes, I guess. Let's see if we can make a recovery here. Okay, guess worker ant, and we don't have any other ant cards, but let's get the goat so we can have that sweet, sweet blood for sacrifices that we know we'll be making. Uh, let's see. I don't see anything to combine here, so let's go for boosting a card. More health. Um, why not have a flying ant that has more health? Why not? I'd love to get fledgling on the uh, insect cards too for the sigil. That would be. Um, for our totem, actually, that'd be so nice. Having them all turn to uh, ant queens. Alright, a coyote with guardian on. So, we need to get somebody down that can do some damage. Thinking that we'll put a worker ant down and uh, continue from there. The skunk can slow down the coyote, and I think that that will end up being just enough that we'll be able to pull out in front. Okay, and we'll draw from here, and I think it we're still good to continue. Okay, now we can get our ant queen on the board. Alright. Nice swift recovery. We'll go ahead and break out this guy so we can get a lot of excess damage. A 16 attack card. I think that was well worth spending the uh, squirrel there to get nearly a full ball with you in our first fight. Okay. Maybe this game will uh, end up stronger than the last. Alright, unkillable. Well, 
I think I'm gonna go with that. And hopefully we'll get the insect bed in a, another visit or two. I don't see an unkillable come up su super often. I think it's a pretty powerful one. Alright, a wolf cub is coming at it. Um, let's go ahead and pull the teeth. And I think that behind that is probably going to be a wolf. So I could put a skunk down and that would last a couple of turns. Um, I guess we might as well kick the party off with that. Oh, and an alpha is coming up next. That's not a good situation for us to be in. Um, it's also waterborne too. Not good. In fact, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to counter that threat because they're fixing to throw so much energy at me. I mean, they would have an attack power of 5 with that one hit. And I can't attack back. Um, I mean, I can put a card in the way of them, but that's really not enough to stop anything. Um, we might have just enough power here to slightly overwhelm them. But let's see. I mean, that alpha is just so overpowered. Okay. And a flying ant. Um, let's see, I think that we got this now. Whew. That one was making me a little bit unsure of how that was going to turn out. Okay. So, we, uh, need to probably trade in our teeth, and I don't see a good straightforward sigil swap to happen yet. Um, so I think that we'll head for another power up area instead. Okay, I think I want to go with the dire wolf so that we have at least one three blood card in our hand. Oh, a power power up. Direwolf would be basically like getting six attack power, um, which would be pretty formidable. We can make the alpha stronger, or we can give the skunk a fighting chance. But of any of the cards, I can see either doing a sigil swap with it or sacrificing it more than any of the others. So I put the direwolf so that it's that much more formidable. I meant to go the other way and look at the cards. Um, I don't know if I want to use double strike on anything else because the dire wolf is that strong. Um, trading in teeth sounds like a good priority though, and I'm kind of need more items, so let's just go this way. I'd love to get a pack rat um, somewhere along the journey too. Sparrows. Okay. Sounds like a job for a flying ant. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get us a um, skunk on the board. Oh. I, uh, that works the other way. That still blocks the cuckoo, so. First, I was a little bit panicked, but this is actually probably the best thing that can happen right now. Okay. And let's get um, this sparrow to move over by placing. Oh, I thought the other one would move. Oh, well, the cuckoo will be blocked, and um, unfortunately, that's more damage, though. Sigh. I may have lost. <laughs> or almost lost just because of that one silly little move. Alright, Dire Wolf. Um, can the Dire Wolf recover things for us and do 6 damage? So, if I cleared off what's on the board, I think it would. And I could play the Alpha as well. Um, so, let's put the Dire Wolf here and the Alpha down there. And that will get us plus 4 damage overall on the board. And that just tore through their defenses, just like that. Nice. Ooh, that's a 
intense. Some good cards. All right. Hmm. I guess I'll settle for a wolf pelt. It'd be nice to have all those goldens, but you know, at the rate I'm going, I have a feeling I could get another golden pelt. All right, items or a sigil swap. Looks like items to me. Yes, clues and scissors. Um, the Harpy's Bird Leg Fan. Forgot I could look at the names of these things. And a folder. Good. fight that was just kind of funny <laughs> okay nice these are now unkillable so let's see if we can get a dire wolf on the board right away and uh, it would take us straight to the next phase so I think that I should wait until the cards move down and that way um, there's a chance for uh, me to play it and uh, collect the cards from the Titan, otherwise we'll lose it. Okay, and here we go. Well, that was a lucky draw. He's going to kill my uh, flying man, but that's okay. He's going to come back into my hand, just like that. And we're not going to bother with getting another card on the board because uh, Dire Wolf is going to take us to the next phase and we're going to lose it, so we don't want to lose anything else. Ooh, a dire wolf pup. Hmm. I wonder about putting its, you know, values on Ant Queen or something. I can't remember if the fledgling passed on when it made a new one or not. Um, perhaps putting it on one of the worker ants would be cool too. Beehive and a grizzly. I could see putting Beehive on something higher in value, but I don't know. I think I'll go with the Dire Wolf Pup. That way we have another canine in our pack, and if we need, end up switching on our totem for some reason, they'll be at least two of the same family. Alright, so we could make another 
duplicate another card and maybe duplicate our black goat so that we have two of them in our hand. Um, that would be sweet. Or if we could get the Undying Sigil on the black goat later on, that would be really nice. But that's not going to happen um, anytime soon. So if I were to sacrifice a card, maybe I'll do the skunk. So I can sacrifice a skunk up there, have a duplicate of the black goat. I guess I'll do that. I think that'll help me get some of the more expensive cards on the board sooner, since it's a one blood um, card itself. Okay, um, black goat, it's your turn. Maybe I'll get a one in one black goat due to a miscopy. Oh, no, it's these stats. That's okay. Too bad he didn't bump me up just a little bit, though. Okay. Skink that is stinky. Ooh, I don't like those. Um, so, let's put a sepult in front of it to block its damage, and we'll get a worker ant started over here in the lane next to it. Alright, now we have some adders incoming. So, we'll put a wolf pelt over there. Okay. And an ant queen to help us out now. Rattler's gonna bust through that worker ant anyway, so I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and um, sacrifice for it. I think it'll return your hand anyways. Yep. And let's put our Ant Queen down here. Oh yeah, the Stinky's gonna get us. Um, so maybe it'd be a good time to cut the card. I think it would be a good time to cut the card. We'll put down the Boulder as well. And I think keep things going as they are. Okay, now I need to get rid of the skink, so let's do this guy over here. Now we could do airborne, and that would be enough to win the match. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and do it. There we go. I think having a certain victory was worth going through our each of our items there. I think it had to be that way, but that's how it goes. Okay, um, I think having another flying ant would be a good idea because I could combine it later or have a backup one or in this case I need it for the draw. And let's go ahead and make our sacrifice of the skunk. It'll be worth the bone token, I think. Fishers that are guardian, as well as a coyote. Oh boy. Um, let's see. I guess we need to get our flying ant down um, pronto. So let's do just over here. And fortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get enough damage on the board in time to. Uh, win this. I mean, it's a plus four. And, I mean, I could at best get the Ant Queen down. Um, let me see. Well, she could take it out. There's just, I don't think there's time to recover this. Thinking for just a moment. So if I draw from here, I might have something to do better, but they're going to do two damage to me. Um, either way, Let 
Yep. Um, so they're going to do... I want to go plus one, but they're going to do two, even if I block the coyote. And... Dire Wolf. Can't get on the board yet. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything that can really be done here. Um, so I mean, we can play like that, but you know, it doesn't really achieve anything. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yep, that doesn't really achieve anything. I think I just have to ring the bell and take the loss. Maybe we'll try one more game. Jeez. Okay. Glad we had the second candle, but that really uh, just hit me hard. Still have a decent hand, so not all is lost, but challenge persists, I guess. Okay. Um, let's take Mantis's power and put it on somebody interesting. Um, perhaps we do. We definitely need the Mantis. I'd like to put it on the Dire Wolf, but I just don't know. I mean, it would be like an instant win, so let's just do it. Potentially an instant win. I hope I can live long enough to get items because I really like to win around today. <laughs> Alright, flying ants and skink. Um, luckily, we have enough to get a dire wolf up on the board, so this is theoretically going to be a cakewalk. And it could go over here and we'll put this in front of the skink to block its attack. Oh, of my turtle. That's a uh, worst enemy to put in front of me for this situation. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to just save up for this guy. Okay, now Dire Wolf is only going to do a little bit of damage there, so I should probably block off one of these flying ants, but I can't because I can't deploy anything. Um, they're going to do plus four, and they're airborne, so I think once again, I'm just stuck. Um, bad luck again. two games out quickly. Let's go for another. This 80 point challenge is just uh, horrifically hard. Let me see what my chances here are. Um, I want to look one more time. Let's do single candle and see just how how few things we can get away with. Um, Without having any boss totems and all totems, maybe this could be an easier way about this. Um, the more difficult is pretty frustrating though, so we're going to have to see how it goes. I have to play it lean to mean and uh, exploit as much of the game as we can think to do so. So let's get the beehive. And this guy, maybe we'll generate a bunch of bees so that we can uh, just kind of overrun them with a, a zerg rush of bees. Okay. Um, sure, let's do the beehive. <laughs> And 
another help font. Good grief. So let's do this and nice, we already have snake cream. Um, so I would think we could go ahead and get the ant queen down on the board. And that may be enough to uh, pull this with the beehive taking on. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good now. around okay I'll take it okay um, scissors I guess I forgot I'd spent my squirrel earlier oh well <laughs> I'm gonna avoid lost to or totems as much as we can all right raven egg Unfortunately, she wouldn't be able to take out the raven on her own, so let's put her there. Next turn, I should be able to get another ant down, and I think that would take out the uh, raven at that point. Okay, what are we gonna get? Hmm, I guess a single bone card to start. It's a bat. Nothing to get excited about, but we'll take it. Okay, um... Sure, we'll go with this for now. Maybe we'll get the insect head next time. Okay, now should we boost a card, or should we go for a sigil swap? Let's see any sigils worth doing. Um, perhaps putting the skunk on the beehive though would be interesting. That way the beehive can collect more bees on a higher powered demon animal. Um, I wish that we could put Mighty Leap on it so that it would collect from anything. Now that would be really cool. So, let's see, I think we can save up till the next turn, and we'll be alright. Okay, now we can get the queen on, and she should be able to take out a uh, raven egg, no problem. We almost have enough that we can play our bat, too. Oh, I should have grabbed a uh, squirrel card a second ago. Okay, now it's time. And this should wipe out quite a few of them. Okay, time for another ant. 
Oops. Fall damage. Kaboom. Now you know I'm going for the insect. <laughs> Alright. Sigil swap. I could put the mantis on something else, like an ant queen or something, but I think I'm still liking the idea of the skunk and the beehive. So let's do it. I can't remember if I've done that exact combo before, so it'll be interesting. Or I could go the other way around since it already has one health more. I don't really need the attack power that much. I think I'll do that instead. Better go for more bees. More bees. I need more bees. Okay. I don't think I have. I don't know if that counts as a bird or not. Maybe it does. I guess we'll go ahead and try it out. I think I'm here for it. It's my favorite, so we'll uh, keep going with what we got. Okay, let's get our skunk down to do bees with him, but fortunately, um, it's just gonna end up they won't attack. Let's start with the skunk over here. And we'll pull our tooth out. And keep going. Okay. And we can. I think we're going to have to go ahead and use the scissors, but I think we'll go after the flying crackers. Should generate us a pelt. That lane is effectively toast now. Okay. So I think I want to have to use both of these. I think I want to have to cut a card and pull one over, or I could just pull one over. Um, that one being Strange Frog, and they would be breaking even at least for a turn or two. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And don't want to put the belt down because I'd rather really continue it when the time's right. So let's get our mantis on the board. Fortunately, it's going to wipe out a strange frog, but we should get a B and another belt. So close to trading it to you. Ah, that's rough. Okay, it gave it back to me. Um, at least I think it did. Okay, yeah, it did. Well, that's cool. I didn't realize that it would do that. Um, so, I think we've got damage in these two rows, so I could clear out these guys somewhat. Ringworm's not a threat. The Mantis isn't much of a threat either. So, let's just do. Let's get rid of the porcupine since it has that kill. 
I saw a T1 in the trade, so let's get rid of the skink. Alright. And I could put down a porcupine and take out the mantis runaway. Or the wolf cub. I think I'll do that instead. That'll put a lot of damage on the board relatively quick, quickly. in a way. We'll just call those my uh, warm-up runs. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We do have a dire wolf and not a dire wolf pup. Um, could put out, could get the corpse maggots and put its ability on the dire wolf. Um, since it's high cost, I think that'd be a great idea. Um, getting more items sounds like a good idea. Or wood carver, either of those. I don't think I have a duplicate yet, though. Let me double check. I do have ants, but I feel like it's just a real waste. Um, so maybe we'll go for power up instead. So wood carver will be our next stop. All right. Um, Let's do the insect head. It's at least a more relevant setup than what we had before, I think. You know, avoid some of these initial attacks from bullies as well. Alright, worker ant. Let's get you to work. We'll put you uh, over here on a sparrow. your turn now. Oh, well that was a whole bunch of cards at once. And let's see, could be time for our dire wolf. I think it just about could be. Um, however, let's see, they're going to put three damage down be putting four, so I think we have a numbers advantage if we keep going with what we have. Okay. And with this, I could get, I can't use, no, you can't use Rickling Leg, Rickling leg actually, so let's take out these guys and put down our um, Dire Wolf front of, I guess, this sparrow, so we don't have to worry about the coyote doing as much damage on me. And we will put, let's see, that'll put us at plus two. Um, they'll be doing one, two, three, four, I guess one, two, three. So I'm like this one under. Let's, uh, let's hold on to that squirrel, I guess. I think that we have just enough to not lose our candle. Okay. And Aunt Queen. Um, so she could take over in place of this worker ant that's already damaged. Okay. And Dire Wolf is going to put two on the board. However, they're going to put three on the board. So that will leave me with this one HP left to lose. I think the Dire Wolf will be able to make up for it in our next turn, though. Here we go. Now we're talking magic. Good.
All right. Wow, two sets of corpse maggots. Um, could have some mega corpse maggot, but I still think getting auto deploy on some of these other more expensive cards makes greater sense. Um, we do. We only have flying ants as our other card there. Two and four corpse maggot that automatically deploys though isn't that bad. But I think having an entire wolf would be even more desired, so I think I'm gonna wait. In that vein, who should I buff here? Kind of. I'm gonna go with the Mantis since it's, uh, you know, bifurcated and only costs one blood. The dire wolf can maybe get the next one. Okay, porcupine and coyote and a rabbit. So that's three damage on the board right away. Hmm. I think putting down a worker ant sounds fine to me. We'll put it here so that the coyote will strike at it. When the when its turn comes. Okay. Wriggling tail will be out there instead. <laughs> Tricky sucker. Okay, now we can get us a flying ant that's in the rabbit safely. That's when it's pretty close to the end here. Okay, good. Ooh, a mantis. Okay, um, mantis could be used to safely take out one of the coyotes if I got rid of the flying ant. Um, however, that's not ideal. This corpse maggot's going to lose to the porcupine. Porcupine, unfortunately, so cutting a card is starting to look like a good idea. Otherwise, they're going to get poor damage on us, and that's just a little too much, I think. So, let's start with this, and next turn we'll get our mantis on the board, I guess. Maybe we're gonna lose that mantis though, that's the main problem. But I guess Wriggling Tail will uh, maybe protect it when it hits a porcupine. I'm not positive though, it's gonna be a mistake. Yeah, it was a mistake. That's game over at this point. I just don't see it. Yeah, we're on single candle too. Man, what a rough day today's been on inscription. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch the videos because I think I've tried the 80 challenge points uh, at least a dozen times now and this is so so hard so I'll try to do a little bit of research before the next stream and uh, see what works best there's got to be some sort of good trick to this okay then well thanks for watching it's been S tier rank follow me on twitch and twitter at S tier rank I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon thanks and have a good one